Yeah man people, welcome back man, welcome back to the morning insider. You don't know Wednesday morning and I'm here to drop the preview of the Reggae Boys versus Nicaragua tomorrow in Managua in the capital of Nicaragua. You understand? So people big up on yourself, yeah, big up on yourself interested video today as well. Look, I have a video of the boys arriving yesterday in the night in Nicaragua and I was a little bit skeptical, you know, because of that storm. But where that storm was coming from, or, or I should say, the timing of when the boys left Jamaica and heading to Nicaragua, that storm was just, you know, above probably, probably I would say, you know, a few miles, you know, from Cancun heading to Tampa Bay in Florida. And I was like, whoa, you know, wish the boys um, a safe flight in Nicaragua. And, you know, they made it yesterday, you know, around, I think around 8 p.m eastern time 7 p.m jamaican time yesterday i think the the, the, the boys arriving in managua in the capital of nicaragua as well and also yeah and also simon yeah simon talked to the media i have a video of that i think it's a one minute one minute and 30 second of simon also talking to the nicaraguan media you know people it's very important you know it's very important to learn spanish if it's especially if you use a player you know in this region because outside of english spanish is the is 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 the most dark language in this region you know it's just a few it's just a few islands you know probably like martinique um saint martin guadalupe you know i've speak spanish you know you have like look at small dutch descents you understand but spanish is a is a is a is a, is a, is a um is a most speaking language in this region especially when you go into central america you understand so it's very important to learn spanish you know like me myself you know i'm getting there yeah i'm getting there you know i i can like a little bit you know they say you know poquito you know um you will say simon estaba hablando uh español con los medios you know that's like simon is speaking to the media do you understand yeah i could say it again simon you know um simon you know estaba hablando eh, con los medios you know so yeah it's very important you know for people to learn spanish especially if you want to cover this and the type of journey and the pathway that i want to go through this nicardo media was platform yeah going into these these dark worlds of central american countries you must learn a little bit of spanish you understand so for the people them out there you know who want to do you know journalism work and you know media work and travel yeah you have to learn at least one or two language you understand so yeah big up big up to simon you know speaking to the press in nicaragua yesterday night you know talking also uh, translated for you guys so you guys can understand what simon was saying about the reggae boys and also the nicaraguan team and his last word was rapido 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 you understand so, so listening to it you guys will hear it you know i think down the line i will play it for you guys and you guys hear it. but yeah you know but look i can tell you this the game you know this game tomorrow you know it's going to be crucial but look this is the second time i have not i'm not going to say witness because i wasn't there but what i saw with video foot video footage and what i have here in terms of listening to these medias i don't know how many of to you guys listen to when reggae boys is playing these spanish speaking countries how much of you guys listen you know look these media these type of people they frighten i wouldn't say frighten but they have us as a big dog why because we have so many premier league players in our team yeah we have so many premier league players in our team that playing in the english premier league, that playing high high level the highest level in english football and the highest level in european standard then i stand they respect us they respect us they welcome us you know they cherish us the the, the spotlight the media when we touch down on these on, 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 on these central american soil look at what happened yeah look at what happened in Honduras the last time look at what happened now yeah the video that i'm going to show you guys in nicaragua they cherish us
Team Nicaragua is a very friendly team in CONCACAF. Uh, now he is very important for Team America. There are many players playing in England, now Canada, uh, United States, and for um, improving AA in CONCACAF. M is easier to qualify for the World Cup. It is a great opportunity for the Amarca team now for the World Cup. Yes, you can for Amarca for World Cup 2026. 20, uh, it's a very big opportunity for uh, for Maiko. Um, it is a team that plays with a lot of heart. It's a very fast team to a... There are also many players who play in the English League. A also, um, others a in the world, for example, uh, Germany or Holland A, other countries, uh, much in Europe. Uh, then a players in Europe to improve this team with a coach. Um, also, and also to the players who play A in Jamaica is also fast. Uh. But guess what? They will never forget what we did to them in 2015. Beat them 2 nil in that same stadium that we going to play yeah i think it was Deshaun, Deshaun brown and darren mattox scored in that game but look they will never forget what happened in 2015 we broke their art we broke their art in that first leg game yeah and then i think we win like something like two I think something like something we, we win 4-3 on aggregate you know in that World Cup qualifier here we knocked them out of the World Cup qualifier and that was one of I think that was their last very good team that they have they understand so they remember that day you know um they wanted revenge and listen they need payback yeah they need payback they want us they want our three points and they're going to come very hard especially when you look at a Marco Antonio Figueroa team yeah is very impressive yet to lose a competitive games yeah the man beat up all of the caribbean country them all of the caribbean country the man beat up even trinidad yeah oh i think trinidad rank second in the caribbean behind the reggae boys yeah the man then beat up beat them up you understand so you have to look into it and like you know this team have something this team you know they unbeaten also at home i think there's six seven games unbeaten at home in competitive game but when they play the big boys you know they played a few um south american teams they played a few you know central american teams and they lost you know they lost that game and the only team that kept them at to a nil all bay since this coach have arrived it was the dominica republic team yeah it was the dominica republic team that kept them zero zero at home in managua so they managed to score in all of their game except that dominica game at home so you know, it's going to be a tough game but you know look into it right now um i look into this you know some of the strengths you know we should go into that game and looking to take advantage you know the set piece our height you know win the second ball set piece you know look how we score goals we score goals on set piece they're not a physical team they're not a team that have a lot of height you know they're they're one of their um center half is the tallest he's six foot, just just shadowing under six foot two you get what i mean i say michael antonio is powerful he's strong look at our look at our um ethan pinnock yeah strong in the air set piece is going to be very key um height we must use up our height advantage every time when we go to Central America, these Central American countries, they're not known for their height and physical strength when it comes down to the football. So we must use that up. You understand? Second ball going into Nicaragua, it's going to be a war game. Yeah? Especially when the forecast schedule to be a little bit rain in the forecast coming. I think it's around 8 p.m. kickoff locally in Nicaragua. There is a forecast schedule for rain around 30% rain. You understand? At least, you know, rain will fall throughout the early stages of the morning. So the field might be damn astroturf. It's important. It's an astroturf. We have players in our camp that used to the astroturf. The English based players, it's not something that they used to. It's not something that they played on every day. But we have players in our system, in the, in the camp, in who is available used to play in the astroturf and it's different people it's different than playing on a natural grass especially when you come on to 
you know our players them are not fully healthy our players are good enough but they are not 100 percent healthy enough you know to go neck and neck in a high intense game they might can play a 90 minute but when you're talking about intensity 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 back and forth i don't think our player equip as yet because our players have been going through a little turmoil you know for the last couple of weeks players have to be getting rest you know players have to be sitting out because of you know um fatigue player got left home didn't get picked lack of minutes you know much sharpness you know so we're going to have to make sure that we keep position of the ball we control the tempo we play on our pace they're going to have their their <clears throat> their moment you know they're going to have their moment where they're going to have their spell and we're going to have to ride and we're going to have to stick together and we're going to have to battle through that rough period and th there's a team at home they love to start quickly not saying that they normally score early goals but they like to get the tempo and guess what people it will be a full house it has been reported it will be a full house coming tomorrow yeah the north and the, the i think it's the north and south stand it's already sold out tickets already sold out since last night yeah so it's going to be a tough tough game they will come they will set the atmosphere for us you understand and it our players have used to you know i'm not saying used to but at least you know play in intimidated atmosphere but central america it can be very intimidated especially when you hear fans chanting and speaking a language that you don't understand yeah it can be a little bit scary but it's going to be very a war zone tomorrow it's going to be a very crucial game but it's going to be a war zone going into these games you have to fight for every second ball that you can play for second ball will be key because if you don't win the first battle you must win the second battle this is how you win games in central america you have to fight for everything you understand so looking at it you know um our strength you know I, I talk about that and we have to make sure that the pace our pace we have to make sure we take advantage of that we cannot go and play slow we have to play with tempo tempo yeah just like how simon said rapido he has to move fast fast italian said dale 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 you understand we have to keep the tempo moving moving you know so we cannot play slow tempo we have to make sure that we play fast and actually something that we can control and steer the game in our direction steve mclaren who will be the driver in the dugout will lead this team you understand and let's see what can happen but you know some of the stuff that you know um some 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 disadvantage that you know the reggae boys we have we have always always allowed them to do the third the third man running yeah that is something that you know we need to make sure that the third man running we cut those channels this is a team if you allow them like all the reggae boys have always allowed teams in central america to always run through the channels in our back four it will happen and they will get that moment but how frequently can it happen i don't think it can happen that frequent if we decide that look we're going to close up things and things are not going to happen but it's very important we don't play to our disadvantage we play to our advantage and make sure that we shut out and keep things clean yeah it, it it have to be like that man it's have to be like that but look you know some some past results you know in central america you know the last the last 10 years you know <sighs> results have not gone our way you know i think you know we the last two games that we have won away in central america it was that tonal it was a tonal defeat when we beat you know um honduras in Sa san pedro sola when you know we beat them 2 0 and the two yeah and the tunnel in nicaragua you know around nine years ago when we knocked them out after work of qualifying the second round tunnel so that those two games our last two games in the last 10 years that we have won in central america so it's going to be very crucial you understand so people clean sheet is a must but i'm going to leave you guys with a video of the build-up that's coming from out of nicaragua last night so listen and watch this video clip and then right after that the video will finish you know so people best upon yourself you know thanks for watching see you guys um thursday with the match day build up where i will come with more and more stuff interested stuff you understand so make sure you guys ready and prepare to support the boys 
you know, um, show the TV. Yeah, yeah, and I said, so, yeah, I'm out. Pero despuntamos con la actualidad de la azul y blanco, la selección nicaragüense de fútbol que vivirá un octubre realmente con mucha acción. El jueves a partir de las 8 p.m. estará recibiendo a los Reggae Boys, a su similar de Jamaica, para enfrentar su tercer compromiso en la Liga A de Naciones de la CONCACAF. Tercer compromiso, primero en calidad de local y por supuesto que hay cierto sabor a revancha, de hecho también la ni Full lo ha vendido de esa manera con una cuenta pendiente ante el conjunto caribeño debido a aquel compromiso que se jugó también en este mismo estadio en el Nacional donde Jamaica nos superó 2 por 0 en una tercera ronda de eliminatoria mundialista después que la selección que dirigía en aquel entonces Henry Duarte se había impuesto en Kingston tres tantos contra dos y nos dejaron eliminados eh, recuerdo muy bien ese partido estaba prácticamente lleno el estadio se cantó el himno nacional con un fervor impresionante y lamentablemente se realizó creo un partido decente pero el marcador no nos terminó pues dando el resultado esperado ahora la selección totalmente distinta con un nuevo entrenador como lo es en la figura de Marco Antonio el fantasma Figueroa que continúa invicto en partidos oficiales y buscará sumar los tres puntos porque es un partido que puede inclinar el grupo si hay un ganador debido a que Nicaragua y Jamaica llegarán al compromiso con cuatro puntos para cada conjunto producto de una victoria y un empate en el caso de la selección nicaragüense de fútbol derrotó 0-1 al conjunto de Guayana francesa y posteriormente en un gol eh, sobre la hora anotado por Clayton Batis terminó igualando también uno por uno contra el conjunto de Cuba en un partido que fue bastante exigente también para la selección pero pudo conservar su invicto todo parece indicar que la respuesta por parte del público nicaragüense va a ser de las mejores en cuanto a el aforo porque ya se ha notificado de manera oficial que se han agotado los boletos para la grada norte y la grada sur y se espera que el pueblo nicaragüense y todos los que por supuesto les gusta el fútbol, vayan a apoyar.